worth chatting with Timothy Bryant, and he's got a new book, and it's called Men of Oak. And uh, we were talking earlier before the show, and th this is a 10-year-old project. Right, I kind of come up with a story uh, 10 years ago, just kind of putting it together, and my wife and I made a trip to Gettysburg, and, and we went to Arlington on a little vacation trip, and it was kind of a little bit of inspiration, so I got home and kind of more or less finished the story after seeing Gettysburg, and because uh, there's a lot about the Civil War. Oh, you're you know? fascinated by the Civil War? Right. Yeah. And that time period, right after the Civil War. Mm -hmm. Most of the Western stories and shows happened right after the Civil War, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. That's so, a, it was actually a short period of time there that... Right, it was. I mean, it was a very iconic, and, and it's it, a lot of uh, uh, romance, uh, uh, it's a romantic time for people to be drawn to because right. it didn't last very long. Uh, but tell, tell us a little bit, of, uh, a little synopsis about the book. Well, the, the time period is around 1865, 1866, right after the Civil War. And I kind of based it on what I imagined Mountain Home would have looked like uh, right after the Civil War. Mm -hmm. And the two main characters uh, come back to the town that I imagined would be Mountain Home, and I named the town Hardwood. And they cut timber to make a living. Mm -hmm and the town folk want them to cut some timber to help them build a church. And of course the local Now was this the first church in town? Or right. A, and in a, fact, kind of the a town pioneer was town. just barely getting oh, okay. started. Okay. Yeah, so you had basic, basic uh, supplies in town. You probably had right. a general store, you had a saloon. A saloon. And probably the, be the last thing to put in was a church. Right. The saloon <laughs> keeper, the local saloon keeper didn't want the church built because okay. that would of course cut into his business. Sure mm. would. People still going to mm -hmm. church. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Mm -hmm. So, but there was no power, of course. It was right after the Civil War, mm -hmm. so everything was done the old-fashioned way, cutting timber, and I describe a lot of the old way of cutting beams and using a saw pit with a two-man saw to oh, cut yeah. the beams yeah. out. And uh, so a lot of the story is, is, is kind of centered around hard work and what it took mm -hmm. to actually mm -hmm. put up a building. Yeah. And, uh, and cutting the timber and getting it to the job site. Yeah, you know, I think people that like history go back and and want to know all those little minute details of right. of what kind of hewing device that you had and and how they made how they drilled holes right. by hand and and all of that and how they how they slept at night and how they did their day. You know how they started their day. That it's, it's not like us where we could just get up and and do go through a drive through for breakfast. And, right. And, uh, you know, yeah. stay in front of a computer all day is entirely, I mean, it was a survival mm -hmm. back then. You spent most of the time mm -hmm. looking for something to eat and, True. you know. You had to kill it or raise it. Kill it or raise mm -hmm. it. You know, if yeah. you wanted to eat it. So my grandparents had uh, 18 kids in their family. They were from Alabama. And my mother said she never remembered them going hungry. They always had a big garden and, yeah. you know, lived on mm -hmm. a small farm. And so they had plenty But that to was eat. a constant thing. I mean, from the time you got up in the morning till the time you... Right. I mean, you're, you had animals or garden or, or whatever. I tried to be historically correct when I described yeah. stuff like the type of tools that they would mm -hmm. use, uh, the weapons and, you know, the time period to be correct. Did you do a lot of research or is this something that you've just had an interest in? And I did a lot of research, but I've had an interest also in the kind of the old way of, of doing things, you know, and tools because traditionally I went, I started out, I'm a mechanic right now and I have been for 35 years, but mm -hmm. I actually went to school in Harrison at the Votech School over there and studied automotive, uh, or studied uh, manufacturing and machine shop. And mm -hmm. we even had courses in using an anvil and working oh, and metal yeah. the old fashioned mm -hmm. way. And so I've always had an interest in tools and the old way of doing things. Mm -hmm. And of course around here, a lot of people burn wood, so I had to, split a lot of wood and cut a lot of timber myself. Yeah. Of course I had a chainsaw. Yeah, so <laughs> so you you kind of related to the to the brothers that uh, came in to uh, to do all the woodwork. The conflict in the book is between the brothers or the town and the or the church and the saloon, is that right? Right. The the owners of the saloon had moved to town and they were of course um, wanting to take over the town and uh, you know, kinda kind of take over everybody and, you know, make money themselves and be in control of things. So mm -hmm. it's a pretty old 
story, yeah. you know, that you see in a lot of old uh, Western TV shows mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, a gun smoke show mm -hmm. or uh, uh, a lot of the stuff you'll see on y'all's Western channel. Sure. That I Absolutely. love to watch. Yeah. I love Westerns. Now, this, is, um, this has been published. Are you hankering to do another one? I do have another one in the works. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, they've offered to, to actually publish two more for me. I just have to finish wow. writing them. So when you say published, uh, are, this is not self-published. The, the publishing company liked it so well they published it on right. their own. That's good. Right. They That's published rare. it on their own, and um, it's at uh, it's on Amazon, of course. Uh, it's in Hastings, and it's at uh, Barnes and Noble. In fact, uh, I'm going to Springfield to do a book signing at Barnes and Noble the weekend of Father's Day. They. Mm -hmm. They decided that a Western would do good for Father's would. Day, oh, so yeah. they had me come up there That's uh, good. at the Barnes & Noble store. You know, there's not a lot of bookstores around anymore. There used not to anymore. be. Yeah. I've done the best at book signings, uh, having a book signing at, at farm stores. I did really well back at Christmas at Orsland's. I'm a okay. friend with the manager at Orsland's, and I gave him a book, and he said, well, why don't you do a book signing here? Sure. Wow. So, That's a great idea. Interesting. Interesting. at farm stores, you know, it's the... It fit right in, so. Everything's online now, it seems like, isn't yeah. it, as far True. as books? They sell them online. I don't know how many they've sold, but it's been out almost a year. Yeah, good deal. That's well, the, the book is called Men of Oak, and it's written by Timothy Bryant. Or, I'm sorry, Timothy Bryant. And uh, he's a native here in Mountain Home. And you can pick this up at Hastings, or you can go online, Amazon, and just type in Men of Oak. I guess it'll right. just pop up. And Timothy Bryant, Eagle You can buy it online. So, Buy, buy, it would be good stocking stuffer for Christmas yeah. gifts before early in the I've, year. I've sold a lot of them to ladies that was buying them for their husband or mm -hmm. their sons. You there know, you go. So, um, well, appreciate you coming by. When Thank you, you when you get your other book uh, in the works, come by and let us know. And we'll I will. be glad to get the word out for I'll you. I'll bring you one. All right. Thanks, Timothy. Thank you. All right. Up next, we have Victoria Wham and also Christy Lawrence, and they're here to talk about the French Club. Yes. Parlez-vous français? Oui, oui. We'll be right back. <laughs>